Today we're talking all about rotational joints in 3D printing and how to make them in Nomad Sculpt. I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. Today we're talking about rotational joints. This is part of our series, The Art of Articulation, which covers different types of joints in 3D modeling. Today we're talking all about rotational joints. You may be saying to yourself, what is a rotational joint? Well, have you ever seen like a mannequin's arm? It's a joint that moves on one fixed axis. These joints are commonly seen in robotics, machinery, and mannequins. They enable the joint to move across one fixed axis, where the part rotates relative to the other. In 3D printing, rotational joints open up the possibility of creating dynamic articulating 3D prints. A rotational joint is a mechanical connection that allows two pieces to rotate around each other. They're typically made of a pivot point, the center axis around which rotation occurs, rotating elements, the parts that rotate freely within a given range, and support components. When designing a rotational joint in 3D printing, there's a few things you're going to need to think about, including materials, tolerance, and print orientation. First thing you want to do is define the range of motion. For instance, do you want this to rotate fully around or do you want it to stop at a certain point? The other thing you need to think about is tolerance. If the part is too tight, it may not rotate and may wind up fusing together. If it's too loose, it may be a little too unstable. Materials choice. Now, depending on what you're making, for instance, we're making really a flexi here, so we could use PLA, but if you need something with more durability, you may want to consider PETG or PLA Plus. Now, let me show you how to design a rotational removable joint in Nomad Sculpt. One is going to be where the pivot point is on the arm, the other one is going to be where the pivot point is on the body, and the other one's going to use magnets to help hold the rotation in place. We're going to open our model in Nomad Sculpt. So we're going to slide that arm against the model itself and I want to see how close it lays into it. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a cylinder and we're going to use that cylinder as the pivot point. Now once we have that cylinder where we want it, this is going to be the joint that's going to turn in the axis. We're going to add a square and then we're going to size that square down into sort of this rectangular piece that's going to rotate in the axis of the shoulder joint. Once we have everything sized the way we want it, we're going to do a voxel remesh and then we're going to duplicate the arm with the pivot joint in it. We're going to size it up slightly, maybe two to four percent. That way when we 3D print, we know it's gonna fit in the shoulder. And what we're gonna do is once we size it up, then we're gonna make a second copy of the bigger arm with the pivot joint. The first one, we're gonna move into the side of the body and we're just gonna have that rectangle we made on the back of the pivot joint going into the body far enough where just the edges of that rectangle are showing. Then we're gonna make that arm invisible and we're gonna select the chest and we're gonna do a voxel remesh and make a hole where that joint should go. So once we do that, we're gonna take the second enlarged arm and we're gonna create another cylinder. With that cylinder, we're gonna rotate it and we're gonna put it over the square part of the pivot joint. That way we could actually punch out where the joint is gonna rotate in the body of the model. So what we're going to do is once we have that size correctly, we're going to move it to the model and we're going to do the same thing where we're going to make it invisible. We're going to select the chest. We're going to do a voxel remesh and it will remove the circle from inside the model's body. Now that is going to be the one access that the joint is going to be able to move along. So if you think about it from the perspective of shoulder, it's going to be able to rotate up and down, right? So basically 360 degrees, but it's going to be able to rotate only on that one axis. So if the model was standing, it would be the Z axis. Now, let me show you the second way we're going to do it. 
This time, we're gonna actually create the same joint using a cylinder and that rectangle, but attach to the body of the model. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna move the arm to the body and we're going to remove the space where the square is and then we're gonna basically do the same thing. We're gonna add a cylinder. We're gonna put the cylinder around the square just like we did previously. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a voxel remesh. That way the circle, the axis is now inside the arm versus the body of the model. And then once we're done with that, we're just going to export our models from Nomad Sculpt. The third one we talked about was adding magnets. So basically, how we're going to add the magnets is we're going to actually do that in Bamboo Lab Studio. What we're going to do is we're going to import our model. We're going to click on the body of the model, and then we're going to add a primitive and in this case, it's gonna be a negative primitive, so it's gonna punch a hole in the arm. And basically what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna provide four holes. We're just gonna basically put it on one side. We're gonna duplicate the negative cylinders and move them directly across to the opposite side into the shoulder. In this case, we were using a three by three by one millimeter magnet. In hindsight, we probably could have just used a magnet instead of the pivot joint to do this, or we probably should have spaced out our magnets a little bit differently. Now let's get it printed. Now let's clean it up and add our magnets to our model. We made three variations of the pivot joint and they all work the same rotating on one axis within the shoulder. And these, are, these pivot joints are really good for shoulder joints. You see them on a lot of mannequins. So as you can see here, we have our hole. Inside we have that circle that we cut and we're able to slide this right in and rotate the arm. And we could also pull it back out and remove it. So this one, we added magnets to it. And now why did we do that? Because when we put it in, we're able to now rotate the arm and have it magnetically stay in certain places. For this one, what we did is we made the pivot point on the body. So basically, we're just gonna pop it on. And same thing, we're able to rotate it into the position we want. And there you have three different variations of the same pivot joint working the same way. All of these are removable, so at any time, you could swap out this character's arm. Understanding the principles behind rotational joints, makers can make everything from toys to complex mechanisms. With careful design and the right materials, your 3D printed products can incorporate smooth, reliable rotational motion, expanding the possibilities on what you can build. I hope you enjoyed this video on rotational removable joints. It is part of the series of the art of articulation where we cover various different joints for 3D printing. For more on 3D printing, DIY, and maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making.